Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. How's everybody doing? Happy July the 24th. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Y'all, I've been uh, nearly on this computer all day. Y'all, before I even begin in recording what I have to say today and reacting to what I got to say, first of all, I'm wanting to react to Missy Elliott's secret dating life. Exposed why she hides her uh, relationships. Uh, I guess I tell y'all my surprise afterwards. So supposedly she dated uh, Olivia from uh, Love and Hip Hop. Supposedly she dated Tweet. She dated Eva from the Next Top Model. They play uh, on. Uh, Atlanta Housewife. Suppose she dated Sheree. Not Sheree on Atlanta Housewife. The one that uh uh did that uh did that show with uh P. Diddy. Uh supposedly that they was dating, they had got married. Uh but nothing was said. Uh and supposedly she had dated uh who else she had dated? Supposedly she had dated uh Faith Evans. Supposedly, allegedly she had dated uh who else? She had dated this man, you know, because supposedly she had uh supposed to be bisexual allegedly. And supposedly she had dated um I said tweet. Uh, supposedly she had dated. Um, uh, it's supposed to have just dated multiple women in the in, in Hollywood. And I'ma say this <laughs> to me. I don't know what the big surprise is. Ain't nobody seen Missy Elliott out and about with a what they mean. And don't nobody really, really care if she has. Like, people were saying, it's 2023, don't nobody care who Missy Elliott is dating. You know what I'm saying? Everybody loves Missy for her music and loves what she do. Oh, supposedly that they saying allegedly she was dating, I guess, Timbaland. But I remember when her and Timbaland had fell out. So I don't believe that. And supposedly she was dating uh Aaliyah. She had well no, they didn't date. They had romantic feel uh she had romantic feelings about Aaliyah. Child, I if I tell y'all, people just put stuff out there and then don't know how to to let it go. Because sometimes it's best to let stuff go. You know what I'm saying? People just just Believe what they want to believe. This child ain't came out and said nothing. Uh, uh, what up? So, mm -mm. child, please. I don't think that. I don't think Missy dated anybody. You know, uh, Missy have always kept her relationships private, which I, I, I agree because if I was in, in the industry, I think I would keep my relationship private. Hell, I keep my relationship private now. And I'm just doing my third this one. Uh, so I, I don't, I mean, all I gotta do is say is so what? So what? So what? So what? So what? But I do can say this. Missy look kind of different. Uh, I think they had honored her for the hip hop award. And I had seen her. And, oh Lord. She had lost a lot of weight. But I remember a while back, they were saying something about how she had supposedly had some kind of sickness. So I remember that. I remember that. Yeah.
I remember that. So yeah, I remember that. But you know, I don't I don't I don't I don't judge people like that. They're just like I uh in case y'all didn't know I started a podcast, it's on Spotify. You can go on Spotify to get it. Get my podcast. It's called uh Lantria Rollar. Uh I'ma look it up for y'all so y'all can see my podcast. Um yeah, I'm going to look it up so y'all can see my podcast. Yeah. Yeah, it's called Welcome to Lunch Trail Roll Art Podcast. It's it's good. Y'all going to enjoy it. Y'all going to love it. I wanted to connect it and sync it with YouTube. So I did it on my... uh. On Spotify, since I'm hooked up with Spotify, so, you know, maybe it'll work like that, but I couldn't just do it with YouTube. It wouldn't, wouldn't allow me to do it, child. And I want, I wanted to have a podcast so bad, and I, I kept saying I was going to do it. And I know some people saying, dang, everybody getting a podcast. If, but when I first seen two other people do it, and I, and I was getting discouraged, and they was, uh, I was like, in they DMs and they was like, uh, if you you could do this, if you've been doing YouTube, you can do this. So I said, okay, well, why not just give it a try? And if it don't work out, it don't work out, you know, because I do have a lot of um supporters over here on this channel. Uh, so yeah, um, what I'm saying is to everybody, you know, everybody is, you know. And I'm going to tell y'all something. Back then, when everybody was coming out, like Missy Elliott, LL Cool J, all of them, you couldn't be gay. But it was, it was not on, it was not on people was talking about her being, uh, in the LGBT PQ. It was now, and back then it wasn't, it was no such thing called the LGBT PQ. There wasn't no such thing as that if you gay, you gay. If you're not, you're not. I don't even think it was no such thing as being bisexual. To be honest with you. I just think that if you gay, you you gay. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no such thing as bisexual. It's such thing as men was going behind their wives back or behind their girls back and doing it with homosexuals. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I, uh, I, um, I was just like, mm. because I remember that back then, you know, how easy to come out now, you couldn't even come out back then. They wouldn't allow that. Baby, they would chase you home. You would get jumped on. You would fight because I remember I was a member and I had met some friends and said, now you can't be scared and hang around us. You gonna fight. And if you don't fight him, we gonna fight you. We don't care if you get your butt beat or not. Just show you can fight so he knows that you ain't gonna be scared of him. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the type of party that it was on though. But, uh, yeah, back then it was so much because I think it was a lot of people that came out. Uh, I think they say, I'm not sure. Oh, because back then it even took Ellen a uh, generate a, a long time to come out to say that she was gay, and I think Roseanne. I think it took Roseanne a while. Um, uh, it was a lot of people uh came out. Uh, what is that? That uh, Arthur Ashe, that tennis player, you know, in uh, um, Sylvester. All of them, it took them a long, it, it took, the, it, I mean, people was coming out. Well, Sylvester was coming out, he didn't even care because he was dressing in female clothes and wearing female hair. He didn't care enough about none of that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, different people, but like, for as like dressing in women clothes, 
that that would be Flip Wilson. He would do stuff like that to make his low money. And I heard they they were saying that they you still were making a whole bunch of money. So um yeah, don't nobody really care about her being a lesbian or being gay or whoever she is. Um everybody just care about one thing and that's Missy Music. Cause Missy is a good writer, a good producer, and she know how to she know how to do some music. Uh, I'm surprised ain't nobody heard nothing from her in a long time. But I'm gonna get off of here for right now, y'all, because I'm gonna get ready to eat uh, eat dinner. Eat me, y'all. I'm gonna eat me some enchiladas. You know, I have been craving enchiladas. Eat me some enchiladas, and I want to say I love y'all, and y'all take it easy, and y'all be sweet. Bye. Oh, and y'all, remember, go to Spotify. It's podcasts and shows, and you'll see me. My name is Luntria Rolark on there. You spell it just like on here on my uh, YouTube page. And uh, you'll see, I'm talking about every, the, some of the things that I can't talk about on my YouTube page. I'm talking about it over there on my uh, podcast. My podcast is ran seven days a week, just like my YouTube channel. I may slip up sometimes, you know, y'all on my podcast because my YouTube channel is, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say my podcast is not very important. Both of them is very important to me, but my YouTube channel is my baby. I'm gonna say it like that. So, I'm a, I'm a, I treat one of them like they. I treat both of them the same. But anyway, go to go to my podcast, go to Spotify, support a brother out. You know what I'm saying? Let a brother get some get some some subscribers. So, and I want to say thank y'all for all the work. Thank y'all for getting me to 400 subscribers and. Y'all just don't know how much I appreciate y'all. Y'all really don't. I love y'all. Peace out.